Caitlin Clark right now is the MVP of the WNBA. Look at all the wide open opportunity she creates for herself and her teammates. First of all, off a miss. If you're just going to stand around and jog back and Caitlin Clark gets this defensive rebound, the second she gets this rebound, Kelsey Mitchell sprints back. You know if once Caitlin Clark gets this ball, her head's immediately up the court. The Atlanta players were jogging back, not sprinting back and standing around. Look at that. Hit a head pass to Kelsey Mitchell behind the back for two. You cannot run drop coverage against Caitlin Clark. You just cannot. So a second defender's coming the ball you're going to have to trap. So that's going to leave someone wide open here. Either Aaliyah Boston's role is going to be wide open or the backside defender from the block is going to take Aaliyah Boston and now you're open right there in the corner. So what do you want to do? Backside defender steps up, open jumper in the corner. Caitlin Clark feasts on this opportunity every single time. The defender in there in the corner. The second she's not paying attention to Kelsey Mitchell and staring at the ball, Caitlin Clark's going to identify that and lead Kelsey Mitchell perfectly backdoor. Look at the defender right there. Look at that. Staring at the ball right here. Caitlin Clark immediately identifies that. Perfect bounce pass leading her backdoor. you got to finish this layup. But that's every single time Caitlin Clark has been feasting on this look all season long, too. The Fever are setting a flat screen right here. So all Caitlin and Clark's got to do is take a couple of dribbles to send the defender towards the screen. Once she's got you leaning towards the screen, it's just a simple cross back over to the middle of the floor. Defender leaning the wrong way. Open three. This is just Caitlin Clark's basketball genius right here. The, the Fever are running back-to-back -back ball screens right here. So the defender's going to try and go over the top of the first one she does. But look at Caitlin Clark right here. Nudge her right at the perfect time. That little nudge doesn't allow her to go over that second screen. That forces her to have to go under the second screen right here. And Caitlin Clark's just going to rock it off that screen, get on the other side about an hour early, and just take it right to the rim. The Indiana Fever can get wide open opportunities anytime they want with Caitlin Clark coming off a ball screen. Anytime. Because they're going to have to trap. A second defender steps up towards the ball. All the girl rolling has to do is take one step. One step and the Fever have numbers. Look at that. Perfect pass through. Three on two automatically. It's every single time. Someone's going to be wide open. Again, you got to finish this, but... It's always there. Caitlin Clark just lives off this look. Same exact thing. Fake like you're setting a screen. The second Caitlin Clark notices the screener leaning towards the screen, it's a blow by the other way every time. Look at this right here. Defender leans towards the screen ever so slightly. So now you just beat her baseline, refuse the screen the other way. That brings a second defender. This also brings an easy wide open opportunity. This is more of just Caitlin Clark's elite basketball IQ. So they're top locking this down screen right here. They don't want Caitlin Clark coming through this down screen. So look at Caitlin Clark. Ever so slightly is going to nudge the defender again at the perfect time. There's Aaliyah Boston. Once that screen gets set, Caitlin Clark's just going to nudge her a little bit towards the screen. That forces her now to have to go up the gut and look at how wide open she is now. Caitlin Clark, again, just making things so easy on her teammates right here. The defender, you've got to show your hands and slide your feet with Caitlin Clark. Watch her break down the defender right here. Look at the defender gambling right there. That's got her momentum going towards the paint. Caitlin Clark's going to get that step back. As you're going to the paint, Caitlin Clark's getting into the step back. So now as you're about to come uphill, now she's going downhill. Look at the defender gambling again. She's got her off balance the entire time. Now I've got the angle into the lane, spin off, draw that second defender, and now look how easy this is. Just an easy easy pump and go drive as the defender had to help for a layup. Caitlin Clark just flies off these ball screens right here. So the defender has to jam Aaliyah Boston. If the Dallas Wings defender makes contact at all with Aaliyah Boston, you're not up jamming Aaliyah Boston. So look at the defender. She's going right into this. If you have to make contact with Aaliyah Boston, Caitlin Clark's going to be getting on the other side of this screen an hour early. And it's just going to be easy. Look at on the other side of the screen, three steps ahead of the defender, and again, it's just right to the rim layup. This is, again, all Caitlin Clark's elite basketball IQ. She's going to fake like she's going downhill to set a down screen. That gets the defender, again, leaning towards the paint. Look at how much space. So because you faked like you were setting a down screen for Kelsey Mitchell, now Caitlin Clark's going to fly off this down screen right here. Look at how much space was just created before the screen's even set. That's from Caitlin Clark faking like she's setting a screen to then come off the screen, and now there's just no guarding this. It's catch and shoot. Caitlin Clark is her own fast break. Look at these three Dallas Wings players, all standing, staring, jogging back. All Kelsey Mitchell's got to do is run the floor. As long as you're running the floor, Caitlin Clark, the second she's catching this, immediately has her head down the floor looking for easy opportunities. The Dallas Wings players are jogging back, not sprinting back. Could not lead Kelsey Mitchell more. 
perfect layup. This is just all basketball IQ. Again, look at Caitlin Clark. She's going to fake like he's, she's setting a down screen for her teammate. So what does that do? That gets her teammate leaning, thinking I got to defend this Caitlin Clark screen. Look at Caitlin Clark instead is going to slip it, not set the screen. Now that's got the defender leaning towards the three-point line. Look at that right there. Once you get her leaning towards the three-point line, bang, just beat her back door. That could not be easier. Caitlin Clark pick and rolls are unguardable because she makes them unguardable. Every single time coming off the screen. Now they're in drop coverage right here. So Caitlin Clark is always flying off this ball screen and getting downhill in a hurry. Just attacking. As long as she's attacking downhill, only good things are going to happen right here. She's not picking up her dribble. She's not pulling her dribble back. She's not hesitating. Either the defender is going to be in drop coverage and now the screener is going to be wide open for a pick and pop. Or if the defender, which she does on this play, stays with the girl popping off the screen, then again, I'm just attacking downhill. The defender's never back in the play, right to the floater. When do the Indiana Fever want to get open looks? Because every time they run ball screens with Caitlin Clark, someone's going to be wide open. You can't run drop coverage with her. Second defender comes up towards the ball. All Leah Boston has to do is take one step. Look at that. Perfect pocket pass through. Now look at Aaliyah Boston. So Aaliyah Boston's got wide open at the top of the key. You can make that pass. Or Aaliyah Boston's catching this in the paint with a full head of steam. And now it's just bully ball. That couldn't be easier. That's all Caitlin Clark, though, drawing those two defenders. It's the most simple play. The Indiana Fever can get wide open looks, again, every time. Pick and roll with Caitlin Clark and Aaliyah Boston. You can't run drop coverage. The second defender has to step up all the way. So she's drawn two to the ball every time. Aaliyah Boston has to take one step. One step. Bang. Now it's a two-on-one on the weak side of the floor, and it's just easy downhill. Couldn't be any easier for Aaliyah Boston. These pick and rolls are unguardable because Caitlin Clark makes them unguardable. She's flying off of every ball screen. Not hesitating. Immediately getting downhill. So... Only good things are going to happen. Caitlin Clark's in the paint. Either this is going to be a two-on-one with Aaliyah Boston, or they're going to bring a defender over from the weak side of the floor. When that happens, all Caitlin Clark's got to do is one pass away, wide open three. Look at where this ball screen is set. The trying to go under this screen. This screen is set at the logo. With any other player in the WNBA, this is fine. You can go under, you're fine. But it's Caitlin Clark. A screen set at the logo right there. Caitlin Clark just says, all right, I'll pull up from the logo. 4-3. Of course, this is why teams have to blitz and have to send two to the ball. Because if you're in drop coverage, like almost every WNBA team likes to be, that means Caitlin Clark's coming off a screen and is open for three. So you either send two to the ball and someone else is open, or you're in drop coverage and Caitlin Clark's going to pull from three. Another pick and roll with Caitlin Clark. You cannot guard this. Now they're gonna, not going to be in drop coverage this time. Second defender comes to the ball. Cool. So the roll, just take one step. Bang. You're wide open right here. Lexi Hall's wide open underneath the basket. This is all because the amount of attention Caitlin Clark requires off of every single ball screen. This is where Caitlin Clark is just unguardable. Look where she's receiving this handoff. Again, at the logo right here. But it doesn't matter. Look at the defender. Immediate, look at She is probably nine steps from the three-point line. The defender still isn't just going to be able to slide her feet. She's got to close out so she doesn't pull from three. Look at Caitlin Clark. Get the defender to leave her feet. She's afraid she's going to pull from three. Once she leaves her feet, now I can just attack downhill right to the rim, and that's an easy two-shot foul.